Welcome back to Learn With Me Python. We are once again going through the Python Crash Course book. We are on Chapter 4, Example 12. So this one will be working off of one of the programs that you find within the book to use for examples. So instead of going through and creating the file like I normally do with you on video, I went ahead and I added in that example code so they call it foods.py and if you look closely it looks pretty similar to what we did in the last one just slightly different and now what this example is saying is all versions of foods.py in this section have avoided using for loops when printing to save space choose a version of foods.py and write two for loops to print each list so instead of these it's going to be asking us to use for loops, kind of like we did here. So we can use that same naming scheme or not same naming scheme, but same coding scheme. So for food in mine foods, and then we give it the bracket and we add our colon to the end. We can now say print food dot title. Same thing over here. We can delete this line and say for food in friends food. Give it the bracket with the colon. Give another one at the end. Print food.title so when we run this code oh sorry giving the wrong file and now when we run this code friends food is not defined friends foods oops right now when we run it we didn't save it or friend foods not friends foods will it work now remember to double check everything people that is exactly what you should not be doing anyway it will give us an output not to different from our last examples output so we have pizza falafel carrot cake those are shared and then we added cannoli to my list and ice cream to the friends list so that is example 12 hope you found this helpful if you did give this video a like share it and as always subscribe if you want I will see you guys in the next example where we'll be going over example 13. We'll be learning a little bit more about stuff. So this section from 10, 11, and 12, we went over slices, how to use them, how to add different things to different lists, how to copy lists exactly, and also how to print out using for loops. So I will see you guys in the next one.